I do it in the order that they're listed here in the book. So it just makes it easy to make sure that I don't miss anything. I've already gone through and I showed you how to use your swatches and the swatch chart so you don't get confused about what's what. But if you'll just take your instructions and go to chapter one for the flying geese melon in this um, particular pattern. And I can see here that it asked me to take fabric B51A. So whatever your, and these are gonna be the center of your, of your um, table toppers, okay? So they give you a nice diagram. So we're doing the centers of these. So whatever your fabrics are for that, that's what we're gonna be doing. And according to this, it says here to cut and stack one three and a quarter inch by 42 inch strip from those fabrics, one for each of those fabrics. So if you're using the same fabric for all three, then you should have three strips of the same fabric. If you're alternating them, if you've purchased a kit, then in the kit, it's gonna have one dif a different fabric for each one of the table toppers. And we're gonna stack those right sides up and we're going to use our melon template to cut them out. So for the purpose of this instructional video, one of the things that you just need to know is this is gonna apply to every single thing that you cut out. You're gonna find your template for those, for that particular thing, okay? And then you're gonna pull them out. You may or may not wanna use, this one has multiples. I think I saw that there were four of them there, yep. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna set the rest of them aside because I'm not using them, okay? And then I'm gonna find my three fabrics and I'm gonna get them ready to cut. Now for my pattern that I'm doing, I'm gonna be using these three colors. You may be using other colors. So don't go by what you see me holding and pull those fabrics from yours. You need to look at your strips that you put on your fabrics and identify your B51 fabrics, okay? But these are mine and I'm going to put them, I'm gonna stack them up right sides up and according to the chart and the instructions I need to have them in this order you need to pay attention to what it tells you to do as far as the order that you need for your kit that you're using or the fabrics that you've chosen so I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna stack them making sure that they're right sides up bit more room here. All right, and it tells me that I need, that I'm gonna position four of these templates on top of this, okay? And this is another place where I use my repositionable glue. So I'm gonna put a little bit of repositionable glue on the backs of these, okay? And then that's gonna allow me to line them up on my fabric, just like the diagram shows me to line them up, okay? And then let's see here. It also is going to tell me how many I need. So I need four pieces from each of the fabrics. So this part of the fabric is not gonna get used at all because I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, 
those are going to go together to make the center of each one of my table toppers. So now I'm ready to cut these out. Now, these are templates just like as if you were making a garment. So if you've done any kind of garment sewing where you put a pattern on top of fabric and cut it out, it's the same concept. We don't need to cut it exactly on here. These are very generous templates. So if you just get a rough cut around them, you're gonna be fine. You can use a curved ruler, you can use a straight ruler, however you um, want to do it, you, you, can, you can do it, whatever you're comfortable with. So, once I'm done, I'm going to make sure that Now, I've got four templates with three cuts underneath it, one from each color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull these off and I'm gonna put them in order. It doesn't tell me to do this, but I know from my own brain that this will be hugely beneficial to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them like so, all of the yellows all of the purples, and then all of the blues together, okay? You don't have to, because it doesn't tell you that you have to do that, but this will help me, okay? Then it tells me to clip them together with a paper clip and put them in a bag, okay? And we can do that. Let me go around to the other side and get a bag. 